Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Saturday so it's grocery haul day. I went to Walmart this week, we have a big haul and I have some new food finds, fall food finds, I'm so excited. So if you're excited too, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I do a grocery haul every Saturday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Down in the description box, you will find nutrition coaching. Highly, highly recommend those personalized macros and calories. That's what I follow to lose and maintain my 140 pound weight loss, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to talk with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. It's free, it's supportive, we would love to have you. So let's head on into the kitchen for this week's grocery haul. So here is my grocery haul for the week. This week I did all of my shopping at Walmart. What you don't see is a 24 pack of Diet Coke for Troy. We have some new food finds, fall food finds, so let's jump in. So I did grab some more wax melts. I was going to get the small packs, but these big packs, which have twice as much, over twice as much, were $4. And the small packs were $2.22. So I grabbed big packs and I got all the fall scents. So I have spicy cinnamon stick, vanilla caramel spice. That one is so good and I love this one. Sliced apple and cinnamon. And again, these are the big, huge packs and they smell literally like fall. I'm so excited about them. And then I got Palmer some more of his balls. He's outside, so he doesn't hear me. But these are like $4 a pack and he loves these little tiny ones, especially when he plays outside with Troy because they fit in his mouth a lot better for him to play catch. So I picked him up three more packages. I did get two packages of the maple flavored French toast cookies. One of them is for us for the week. And then the other one I'm taking on Saturday, I'm going to a pottery painting class with some a women's networking group here in my community and we're bringing a snack so I'm gonna bring these I thought that would be nice to have cookies to share they sound delicious I also got two gallons of 1% milk for Troy for the week and I was so excited to see light and fit has their pumpkin pie yogurt this is one of my favorites it's seasonal it's amazing I love it 80 calories 12 grams of protein so I picked up three of those and then I had to get this to try the pumpkin harvest crisp from Chobani flip it's only 150 calories so not bad at all and then you get all like the little yummy goodies to top your yogurt with so we'll have to save this for what I eat in a day and try it out together I also got four of the Knutson little cottage cheese cups I really like these for just a quick easy snack they already have the fruit in them you just top the cottage cheese with it so I did a blueberry a strawberry a raspberry and a pineapple these are like a dollar seven a piece so really really affordable and then I did get some protein pasta this is for a recipe we were completely out of Parmesan cheese so I just did a quick restock I also needed a can of corn for a recipe some quest protein chips for a recipe I almost panicked because the box looked empty and then when I pulled the box off the shelf there was one bag left this was almost three dollars so it is a much better deal to buy quest protein chips on nutrition plus I have a 10% discount code so I will not be buying them anywhere other than nutrition moving forward but I did need this for a recipe and I also needed a refill of black ink for my printer fifty dollars that's just so insane to me so picked up the big ginormous one so I don't have to buy another one anytime soon also got a massive thing of daisy low-fat cottage cheese for my meal prep I'm doing a protein packed cottage cheese based meal prep I can't wait for the recipes and then I did restock Troy's country crock light butter I also needed low-fat low-sugar low-something light French dressing for a recipe so I picked up the wishbone this was the only light option that they had I also am completely out of flour so I grabbed the gold metal flour unbleached I'm also completely completely out of brown sugar, so I picked up the light brown sugar. Lots of cheese for the week. Walmart is the one place I can find the reduced fat pepper jack from Sargento, and this is my favorite cheese in the entire world. I don't know what it is about it. I just really love it, and I can now only find it at Walmart. And then I needed Monterey Jack cheese for a recipe. I needed Gruyere for a recipe, and this was the only one that had Gruyere in it. It is cheddar gouda and Gruyere, but it's just going to have to do. And I've actually never heard of this brand. It must be a more affordable brand at Walmart. I've never heard of it before, but I picked that up. And then I needed light mozzarella and they only had the huge bag. So this is the 16 ounce, one pound bag, but I went ahead and grabbed it. It's not like we won't use it because you know our obsession with cheese. Speaking of cheese, bought another box of my extra toasty Cheez-Its. These are my 
all-time favorite cracker. I just like them as a crunchy side to lunch. I've been making a lot of my unwitches that I shared in last Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day, and that's literally zero carbs and all protein. And then I throw one serving or half a serving of Cheez-Its on the side. Literally been my favorite lunch. And then I grabbed these because I saw them in the clearance section. These are the Blueberry Crisp Dipped Cranberry Mix from Ocean Spray. I got them for $2. A quarter of a cup is 140 calories. There's four servings per container. And I just like to have them. It, I thought it would just be a really easy snack, something I can even take on the go. I do want to hike now that the weather's getting a little bit Bit cooler so that would be a perfect hiking snack I also grabbed some meat from the deli some roast beef and some ham for Troy and myself again been loving making my unwitches I needed low carb tortillas for a recipe and they had the light la tortilla factory I like these because they're an actual tortilla there's they're not low carb and low carb means low net carb and I don't track net carbs anyways but these are non GMO they just have a lot better ingredients just a lot cleaner ingredients and they're only 80 calories a piece they have four grams of protein and and seven grams of fiber. So I love the La Tortilla Factory and since Walmart had them, I grabbed them. And for produce, I picked up some raspberries. This is for my meal prep, a green bell pepper for a recipe, some parsley for a recipe, lots of tomatoes. I actually need tomatoes for a couple different dinner recipes. And then Troy likes to put these on his breakfast sandwich. So I just slice them up have them in the fridge ready to go for him. I got some basil. I just picked up the small pack. All they had was the plant and I can't be bothered with the plant. I don't want to grow it. I'm not good at that at all. So this is all I need for a recipe. And then lastly, some organic romaine hearts for a recipe. And then I can use these for my unwitches. Since I didn't go to my fry store, I didn't get my favorite lettuce, but this will do definitely in a pinch. So that is everything that I picked up for the week. Again, a 24 pack of Diet Coke in the garage for Troy. Let's go ahead and jump in for what's for dinner and that protein packed cottage cheese meal prep coming your way on Monday. So here is what is on my menu for the week. So for dinners this week, I'm making taco pasta salad. You will see that recipe in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. And then we're going to make quesadillas. We didn't end up making them this last week. So I already have everything on hand for that. And then here is my protein packed, everything made from cottage cheese meal prep. I'm so excited. I'm doing Starbucks bacon and Gruyere egg bites. So this is a copycat recipe. These are so expensive and so high calorie. We're going to make them ourselves at home. And then for lunch, I'm doing lasagna roll-ups. I'm so excited for this. And then I'm making whipped cottage cheese for dessert. This is something I have been making kind of behind the scenes and love it and want to share it with you. So you'll see all three recipes in Monday's meal prep. Thank you for joining me for this week's grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything I picked up from Walmart. I cannot wait to do my meal prep and for my recipes for the week. All the those fall food finds, I'm definitely in my fall era. I am so excited for it. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Again, subscribe, turn your bell on so you never miss a future video. And don't forget to check out that description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And don't forget, come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Saturday, friends. Have an amazing weekend and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.